Hello everyone, this is Veronica. Welcome to my channel. I have another little surprise to share with you. Um, it's not coach, but it is handbag. So stick around and I'll show you what I got from ASOS. So um, I've talked about it a little bit before. Oh, and I'm in my kitchen today because if you don't know, I mentioned it before, but if you don't know, I also have a channel where I talk about coffee, coffee reviews, coffee recipes. So I was filming a video for my coffee channel. And since I had it all set up, I said, you know what? We're gonna do our little unboxing here in the kitchen. So welcome to my kitchen. So today's unboxing is from ASOS. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos and I used to shop at ASOS a long time ago when I was blogging. And then I kind of stopped only because they're from the UK and I didn't have a problem with the shipping, but the sizing is different. So sometimes it was hard to get the sizing for clothes. I love some of their clothes, but it was either too big or too small and I just couldn't get the sizing right. So I kind of stopped shopping there, but lately I've been seeing videos on um, you know, people shopping at ASOS and a lot of people have been talking about dupes. If you don't know what a dupe is, is basically, and I kind of mentioned it in my other video, um, my quarantine shopping video, how the loafers I bought were kind of duped for the Prada. So this is nothing new. This has been going on for a long time. As far as I could remember, a lot of brands will make, um, styles that are resembling the high-end designers and a lot of people call them dupes duplicates they're not fakes because a fake or replica is basically they make it look exactly the same they put the name brand so these are not um fakes they're not made to look exactly like the luxury high-end these are inspired by or look similar to but they're not fakes. So I was very curious for some of these because there are, these are things that I like and I would wanna buy, but the high-end designer versions are a little expensive and I just didn't wanna spend that money. So I said, oh, let's try some dupes. So basically that's what this is. It's some dupes of some items that I've been wanting. And for this price, I said, yeah, let's give it a try. So, Ooh. Okay, we'll start off with this because I've been doing a lot of handbag reviews. And this one, I bought it on ASOS, but it's from the brand Ego, Ego, which I've seen a lot online. I'm not too familiar with it. Um, but yeah, this is basically a dupe for the Prada nylon reissue, re-edition bag. Back in my college days, in the early early 2000s, the Prada nylon bags were the it bag. Everyone wanted them, everyone had them, except for me because I was a college student and I was paying for my own college and working part-time. So yeah, I couldn't afford it. But I was thinking about the whole dupe thing and I actually had a Prada dupe bag. Um, I was thinking about, I was like, yeah, that bag was, at the time I didn't think of it as a dupe, but it was. A friend of mine gifted me a handbag from the brand Nine West. They mainly make shoes, but they also have bags. And it was basically a dupe for the Prada nylon bags. Uh, I love that bag. If I would have known they were gonna come back in style, I would have saved it. Um, so yeah, so this is a dupe. Let's open it up. And mainly I just kind of wanted to see the quality um, and I was just very curious. Oh, okay. So it comes in a little dust bag. That's cute. And this one actually got pretty good reviews. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, this is kind of like the bag I had. It was a little taller and it had, um, top handles. It wasn't like with a strap, but here it is. Um, and I don't even know what it's called. Ego shoulder bag with chain and compartment in black nylon. Okay. 
Um, let's see if I have my invoice in here. Oh, no invoice, so. And I'll put the prices of what I paid, but the Prada one I know is like 1100, 1200. So it comes with a little pouch. Oh, that's so cute. So it comes with the pouch. And it comes, oh, that's actually pretty cool. You get a chain strap. I like. And you get, I think I paid like maybe $30, $27, do I don't know. I, it's, invoice is not in the box, so. So it comes with the strap. Oh, this is cool. I'm actually kind of impressed. I mean, it doesn't have the Prada name or anything on it because it's not a fake, a replica. It's a dupe. So it's just kind of inspired to look like. This is actually not bad quality wise. So let me know if you guys like dupes or not. I know some people are very anti-replica. I don't really care for buying replicas, um, but I'm okay with a dupe or inspired style. Because I've had many things that I looked back, I was like, oh, I didn't realize that was kind of a dupe for a high-end style. Oh, you guys, look at it. It comes with like a lot of little things. That's pretty cool. Okay, so let me put it all together. I loved my nylon bag back in my college days. It was really one of my favorites. I used it a lot. Um, I was like so surprised and happy when my friend gave it to me. Oh, this is actually pretty cute. I like it. I really, really like it. So it has a strap. It's pretty adjustable. <sighs> Which I really enjoy. I mean, back in the first Prada edition, they didn't have the chains or all of these things. It was just the nylon bag. But I like it. It's pretty cute. It's a pretty decent size. Oh, and it has a little zip pocket inside. I'm actually impressed with the styling and the quality of this little bag um okay i'm getting hot so hair goes back but yeah you guys it's really really cute i'm impressed i like it the chain now i have a chain i can use on my other bags um a strap I can use on my other bags, this little pouch. Oh, cute, very cute. I'm happy with it. I mean, does it look expensive? I know, but that's okay. Honestly, if I like it and I something I like, the style, the way it looks, the price, functionality, I'm gonna buy it. Does it have to be crazy? expensive high-end designer you get up for the price of this bag you get a lot so you could carry it like this oh and it fits okay good because you know when you got bigger arms these little straps don't fit sometimes but you could carry it like this you could carry it like this i could remove the little strap there the little pouch i like it i'm impressed very cute, very functional, totally in right now. Oh, okay. I like it. Good job, Ego. Good job, ASOS, on this little dupe. Oh, and this, I don't know where this goes, but we'll uh, attach it to. Yeah, so let me know what you guys think. This is very, very cute. Like I said, I'm not opposed to buying things that are considered dupes or inspired by, um, as long as it's not a replica, you know, a fake. I have bought fakes in the past. I'm not going to, you know, act all holy or, you know, 
better or anything. I bought it a long time ago. Um, but I just didn't, you know, didn't really care for it. But this is cute. I like it. I'm happy. Good job. Okay. Here's a pair of shoes. Oh, got a little beat up. Um, this is an ASOS brand. And this um, shoe, the actual shoe is not crazy, super duper expensive, but it is a little expensive. Um, and this is a dupe. Um, the actual shoe is the Alexander McQueen sneakers. Um, I think they're around $500, five something. I've seen them. Um, when I went to the outlet, they had a McQueen, um, Alexander McQueen store there and they did have some for like three something. So you can find them discounted a bit, but still a lot for a sneaker. So I say, you know what, let's try some dupes. Oh, they're like stained. I don't know if you guys could see that. It's a little blown out, but anyways, but here they are. Alexander McQueen dupe. These are called ASOS Chunky Lace-Up. Um, I have not worn white sneakers probably since I was in high school. So I said, let's try them out. Um, again, UK sizing, I went by the chart, so I hope they fit. Um, they're pretty cute. I mean, they don't look exactly, exactly the McQueen's, but that's the whole point of a dupe, like a, a dupe. It's just going to resemble, inspired by. Um, okay, they have like this weird mark on them. I don't know what the heck that is, but if it doesn't come off, I'm sending it back. These were like 30 bucks, I think. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to try them out. Like I said, I haven't had all white sneakers in a very long time. Um, maybe because I grew up wearing like white shoes, white sneakers. So when I got older, I was like, they remind me of being a kid. So I know now all the young kids, you know, college kids, high school kids, they all love the white shoes. Um, yeah, no, I gave up white shoes a long time ago, but I said, why not? Let's give it a try. So, um, they seem kind of comfy. Um, I'm just kind of worried about the sizing. Um, let me go get a sock so I can try them. Hold on. Okay. I got a little sock liner thingy. I tried them on. Uh, they're too small. They don't fit. So these are going back. Um, they do, they look kind of cute and they do feel kind of cushiony and comfortable, but they're just too small. Like my foot fits in there, but it's like super tight and my toes are squished here. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to either size up. Um, but upon my research, I did see that Steve Madden has some dupes for the McQueen. So maybe I'll try those, um, because I could actually go in store here. Um, where I live and try them on. Um, like I said, that's one of the things that I was kind of um, made me stop shopping at ASOS and some of the UK sites because of sizing. I just haven't gotten my sizing down, but um, I like them. I like them. If I could exchange them for a bigger one, I probably will. Um, but yeah, this these don't fit. These are a size six. Um, in the UK, and I'm a size eight, eight and a half US, so this was the size that they suggested. Um, but they don't fit, they're too tight. Oh, yeah, no, too, too, too tight. Uh, but that's it. This is my little ASOS haul. These are going back, um, and uh, we'll see if I buy the McQueen. Um, I want to buy the McQueen's, but I don't want to pay that money if I buy the Steve Madden's or if I just exchange them for a bigger size of the ASOS. So let me know if you um, have any suggestions or ideas for other dupes for these shoes. The bag I'm happy with. It's cute. I like it. You know, just a fun little bag. Um, 
I don't need to spend a thousand dollars for a little bag like this that right now is hot and in style and then in another next year you know people will be poo-pooing and saying you know don't buy this don't wear this anymore which I don't care I'll wear it and use it until I don't want to wear it and use it no more uh, but yeah this one I'm happy with this one's was not as successful but that's it guys let me know what you feel about um mine dupes um yeah i'm not down with the replicas um dupes i'm okay i want to hear from you guys make sure you subscribe help my channel grow i know we got a couple new subscribers hello thank you um you know leave me your comments appreciate your thumbs up subscribe and i have some more fun things coming up um yeah, that's it. Let me know. I want to hear from you guys in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Oh, also, um, I haven't been posting like on schedule, but I've been noticing now that I'm getting more views. Um, my analytics says that I have the most watchers Monday evenings and Saturday evenings. So I'm debating on when I should post. Um, either Monday or Saturday. So if you have a preference, let me know in the comments. Monday or, no, not Sunday, Saturday. Monday evenings, but after five o'clock, my time, which is Pacific Standard Time, or Saturdays around 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Let me know, leave me a comment, and then I can kind of decide, you know, on a official upload date of either Monday or Saturday. Um, Okay, that's it. Thanks everyone for watching and uh, oh, we better do a little, um, oh, what is it called? Um, thumbnail. Let's, let's get a thumbnail here. Thumbnail moment.